Hello, almighty Akai devs. Uh, here is going to be a quick explanation of uh, audio clip book, which is carried over from uh, 2.x versions of MPC software. So let's get straight to it. I'm just going to quickly record two bar loop. Um, overdub. Okay, and we've got it, yeah? So now, I'm just gonna export it to audio track. Ah, it's, it died on me. Ah, uh, bummer. Okay, it doesn't matter. Uh, okay, pause. Okay, here we're back again. Uh, sometimes NPC dies on looper. I don't know why it happens, but anyway. Uh, let's try one more time. Okay, we've got that clip. So just in case, we're just gonna export it to pad maybe. Okay, it's called new looper sample, okay. Mm, we've got that one, edit. Right, so if I make new track and it's gonna be audio track, yeah. Uh, and let's browse for samples and new looper sample. Yes, we've got exactly two bars sample, yes? Yes. Now, the problem with it is that if I'll go to sample edit and tune it by an octave down, it should be twice the length, am I right? Because it plays slower. But, oh, I just reversed it. But it steals two bars. So it looks like it doesn't inherit all the attributes from the main sample. The clip doesn't uh, inherit all the attributes from the main sample or it just recalculated wrong. Which means that this clip now displays over two bars. There is no way to extend it or whatever. And look, it plays slow, clip ends, but it still plays because obviously it's twice the... Yeah. The same happens if I, let's say, tune it octave up. Oh no, it just died on me. Oh no. But I can't do anything with it. Why? Oh, there we go. Oh, it froze for a sec. If I tune it an octave up from the original, it should be half the size. Am I right? Because it plays at twice the speed. So, now, Guess what's gonna happen. The clip is over two bars, the sample will play only one bar, but it still will display that portion that it's silent, that doesn't exist. Yes, and there is nothing. And the problem is, if you got a bunch of such samples, it's very hard to align them properly. If you, if you let's say, if you tune them, it froze on me again. Hmm. Yeah, it looks like it's keep freezing. I mean, it doesn't freeze. It just don't let me to do anything until I actually. Yeah, <laughs> I I think I found another book. It doesn't let me change any settings until I'll touch this window and make it active. I think that's what's happening. Okay, let's go over here. Oops, sorry. Okay, we can move that and go to sample edit. Yes, I cannot change anything. There we go. That's the book number two. I cannot change anything until I've made that window active. Touch the sample. Yes. So, uh, I don't know if it's by design or it's a book, but... Yeah, it is annoying as well. But the main issue I've got is with those clips that uh, it seems that it the the clip clip size doesn't recalculate based on uh, whatever sample we've got in a sample edit. 
So yeah, that's the problem. Uh, and by the way, while I'm over here, almighty oh, Akai devs. Uh, can you, you see that mouse cursor? Can you take it out of, out of dev mode and just let people use it just as normal? That would be fun. I know I cannot. Let's let me double. No, I've reversed it again. Okay. Can I grab it? Yes. Do you know how useful would it be for people? Because apparently it doesn't work without uh, dev mode enabled. I'm not sure yet, but most probably uh, just give it to people, please give it to people. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 